Sound Sleuth Lab. Testing one, two. Welcome to the Sound Sleuth build video for a high impedance piezo buffer. First of all, what is a high impedance buffer and why do we need one? Great question. Piezo pickups produce a voltage when they experience mechanical force, vibration, movement, tapping on them, etc. But they don't produce a lot of current, very similar to a condenser microphone. A high impedance buffer lets us capture the voltage signal without loading down the pickup. End result, it sounds better, much better. And it's the same one we use in our hydrophones and it's got excellent audio specifications. This is also part of an instructable, so please see the link in the video description for more information and the full parts list. This thing works great with commercial pickups such as a Fishman and DIY ones in case you want to, I don't know, just glue a piezo disc to a ukulele. We will hear both of those at the end of this video. Here's the circuit board we're using. The XLR out connects to one side and our quarter inch jack on the other. Here's the box with the panel cutouts on each side. The actual XLR on one side and then fortunately Neutrik and other companies make connectors that use the same cutout so a quarter inch one fits right in. All we need to do now is solder our wires to the connector. Tin each cup on the XLR in preparation. Cut and strip a few 2 inch long 24 gauge wires. I'm using green for pin 1, red for pin 2, and black for pin 3. Note the ground connection on the XLR connector. We need to solder this to pin 1 so that we tie the connector and thus the entire case to ground providing shielding for EMI and RF interference. The quarter inch jack I have is three terminal, but we're only going to use the tip and the shield. Note the ground connection on the actual jack. Tin the connections for tip and ground as shown. I'm using a yellow and a blue wire for this jack. Yellow for signal and blue for ground. All right, here are the screws to mount the connectors. After mounting, solder the printed circuit board connections. I pre-tinned the wires and inserted them from below. Green is pin one, red pin two, and black pin three. All right, now let's solder on the signal and the ground connections to the yellow and the blue wire. Here's what it looks like when it's finished. I wrapped the printed circuit board in a piece of bubble wrap and then just assembled the box. Yeah, it's a little bit janky, but you know what? It's easy and it works. All right, now all we have to do is screw on the lid and mount the feet. Before we go into how does this sound, remember, pickups pick up the resonance and vibrations of an instrument and won't sound as good as a microphone. But as you will hear, they can complement a microphone to provide a fuller sound. They're also fantastic for live performances. Mm-hmm. 
Now on to a ukulele. Here's what the pickup sounds like. And now a full mix of the complete song. Hope you enjoy this video and we will see you next time on Sound Sleuth.